Good morning. I am at um, 8925 Southwest 81st Loop in Candler Hills, part of On Top of the World. Um, here is the street that the home is located on. Of course, every every home is beautiful, so well kept, and the landscaping is fantastic, and all of that. Um, here it is from the outside. You got the three car garage, two car that way, and then your golf cart, quote unquote, uh, garage. Here's the front landscaping. I'll just show you down the side here real quick. Um, it's kind of nice because there's a fair amount of space between these two homes, and then there's a, a little area back there that's just sort of uh, common, so no home will ever be there, so it's just kind of nice that there's a little bit of privacy that way, or it's kind of nice for the view as well. Paver driveway. Um, very fascinating the way the uh, layout of everything is. Really interesting. So this is the front door, of course, um, and you come in, but you come into the courtyard. So you come in this first entrance and you're in the courtyard uh, and there's this, because there's two screen porches here, um, or lanai's, however you want to call them, but um, this is the uh, lanai part of this courtyard. There's big sliding glass doors there. There's another entrance door. Now, you can also come out to the patio from that door, which there's a a bedroom there um, and then this door right here goes into uh, the second full bedroom that I could also I would also call it like an in-law suite or a, a guest room um, because it has its own door here but it's a nice big size bedroom of course all the ceilings throughout the house are are taller um, but it's a nice big size room um, it goes around this way um, and there's a closet in the bathroom in there, but you could also, if somebody wanted to close that and make a big closet. Um, what I am thinking was going on in here is that the bed was kind of this way and that in that part of the room, they probably had a sitting area because there's cable over there and they may have had uh, a, like an entertainment center with a TV and, what, and whatnot. So um, anyway, this is this guest area and here is it's got its own zone for ac um, here's the full bath that goes with it um, a walk-in shower uh, everything in here in this home is very clean um, it was not lived in hard or for very long um, nice quartz on the countertop um, whoever lived here, she was interesting. Every single pull on the cabinets is different. Um, so, but obviously that's something that's uh, per everyone's taste. Um, here is just the regular clothes closet. Goes around this way. So. All right, we'll go back out here. So here, again, we're in this part uh, of the screened area, Lanai. I call it a courtyard because you come in that front entrance and you're in the courtyard to then go further in to another front door. Um, I did open up all the big sliders because it's beautiful today. Um, but this would be the second front entrance that you walk into. Um, and this is the big, nice, big, spacious living, living, uh, living room. And then there's the dining area is here and then a big, nice kitchen. I uh, remember I said the, all the cabinet and drawer pulls, uh, she was unique, <laughs> but, uh, lots of cabinet space. This Island is nice and big, um, all stainless appliances, a glass cooktop. Dishwasher, double oven, nice fridge. Uh, cabinets go all the way to the ceiling, which is very nice. 
Um, and then here's the big sliders that I have open out to the courtyard there. And then I've got those open too, that because uh, it is just beautiful out. Uh, this way is the garage and the laundry room. So we go in here, and here is the inside of the three-car garage. Um, pretty basic. Nice and spacious because it's got the extra uh, golf cart uh, side to it. So um, they've done a, a coating on the floor. That's nice. Um, there's even a ceiling fan out here, which is interesting. This is a pantry, which is nice to have. It's got some spice racks going up the wall and a little pull out here. Shelves go all the way to the floor. This is the HVAC closet. There it is. And then this is the laundry room. It is also very spacious. Um, there clearly is plenty of room if somebody wanted to do uh, bottom cabinets here with some countertop. Um, that would be great, uh, whatever somebody wanted to do, but there's a lot of room in here. You could put shelving if you wanted to, if you liked buying groceries in bulk or, you know, any number of things in here. So, we'll go back out and go around to the other side. Dining and the... The living room is, is just big and beautiful. Um, this is, you could do a whole area this way with a TV on that wall there and furniture, and then you would still have this end. You could do a big desk area here. You could do any, you know, just a lot of things. A library with a little chair and seating area. Um, so that way is the other, dare I call it a bedroom, but um, it could be a bedroom. But I'll show you why in just a second. And then that way is the master. Um, we'll go this way. So there's um, another guest bath. And here's this, uh, I'm not calling it a closet. I mean, I'm not calling it a bedroom because there's no technical closet. Now that could be just doored off and made a closet if you wanted this to be an actual bedroom. Um, this is an office, it's a den, uh, it is whatever you would like it to be. Um, we just, in, in Florida, technically, uh, we're not supposed to call a room that doesn't have a closet a bedroom, but um, this, is, of course, could very well be a bedroom. Here's the guest bath. Um, very uniform throughout the house as far as floor, cabinets, countertop, uh, color patterns, paint, all of that. So, um, same quartz on the counter, same cabinets. Um, this, this bathroom has a tub shower combo instead of the walk-in. And then, of course, there's the uh, other door out to this courtyard patio area. We'll go over to the master next. Uh, I love all the big tall doors. Uh, that's nice. It's got a tray ceiling in here, if you can see it. It's all the same color. There we go. Um, pretty nice size. Nice big window there, because the view out back is, is very pretty too. So here's this master bedroom, and you walk in this way into the bathroom. A double sinks in the vanity. Um, right to the right is a, a doorless shower that you walk in and then kind of you just go around right here and um, it's got a seat and a, a rail and a shelving for shampoo and soaps and things. 
And then we've got a separate water closet for the toilet with a <laughs> linen closet. And then the regular closet. Now, this is a fantastic closet. I'll tell you, this is a great, the, the system that's in here is very nice. Very well equipped in here. Big closet. Somebody had lots of stuff. <laughs> all the way there's so much shelving in here shoe racks uh, obviously hanging clothes area but so much storage in here all right now we'll go back back out to the kitchen And then out to this second porch. And that, man, today is the day for these porches and these doors to be open. It is phenomenal. Um, this is lovely back here. Uh, who, the, the woman who owned this, um, you know, just, there was a lot of detail into what she did with the uh, landscaping. And there's that uh, kind of common area right there. So there will never be a house there. Um, obviously there's a house over there, but, um, you could sit on this porch, uh, and if you were sitting right here, cause you can't see any houses in that direction at all. Um, and so you've just got all this beautiful landscaping and then you've got all the, the willow over there with, and then the oaks and, uh, it's just pretty. I'll walk out here real quick. There's an um, excess slab out here for grilling, more patio furniture if you want. Um, and then, I mean, there is, she must have spent a fortune on River Rock to, to uh, make this look the way it does. I'll walk around the side here. Um, everything's very manicured, all the little beds and things, but all of this uh, dark mulch and River Rock is all part of this property. And it goes all the way down the side there with the manicured beds and landscaping and rock. You can see the last little bit of river rock right here. It goes down this edge. Um, there, back to the back of the property right there. Um, you can see here's the edge of the property. So all of these beautiful beds and it's so it's no grass back here there is no mowing in the back at all uh, maybe not even in the front and that's probably that was probably her intention was to uh not have anything to mow we'll walk over here real quick and you can see uh, the view this way. Now there's this side. So, yep, there is not one thing to mow. There's the back side of the house. And uh, we'll just walk back in real quick, and um, that will be that very interesting uh, lovely home it's got some very unique features that with the ex the uh, in-law suite over there that's got its own entrance is um, fascinating it could be used for so many things um, because you do have a second bedroom in here if, if you want it it doesn't have to be a den or an office so and here we are going back in And there you have it. Thank you.